Welcome to a special Long Plays by Free Play. It's part two of our pinball walkthrough. Um, we are going over intermediate and beginner techniques for pinball. Uh, this is part two. We did part one last week on total nuclear annihilation, so go check that out. I'm going to jump right back into it with my friend Gabby, who, not a pinball pro. By the way, I'm not a pinball pro either, but I've won some tournaments, so it would be uh, disingenuous to say I'm, I'm brand new at the game. Uh, this is my first or second favorite. These are literally my two favorite tables. This one's one of my favorite tables. What do you think about this table just looking at it? It's got a lot going on. It really does. <laughs> there are so many lights, so many blinkers, ramp, ramp, orbit, orbit. There's a castle in the middle. That thing blows up. You can have a side entrance to the castle. That's cool. There's a, there's a what is that called, an eject over there. There's another eject over here, which launches it around. I love ramps, and this one's got tons of them. It's even got a secondary ramp function over here on the castle oh. where you save the damsel. You hit the shot three times, and then it modifies, and you go straight up there. Whoa. Lots of practical physical effects. But in the end, this is a very, very fundamentally like core pinball table. It is so perfect. The rules are right here, as they always are. There are a lot of words there, and I'm not interested in them. The only one I'll tell you that, that like, it might be interesting um, is the skill shot, which is frequent for a lot of tables. Uh, you can just plunge it. It goes up to the top, and you hit one of those two blinky lights over there. Very easy skill shot. If you want the very easy skill shot, don't do anything. Plunge the ball or hit the button. It's going to go up there. You pick the right light. Skill shot. Yay. There's a secret one, though. Hold the oh. left flipper. This is common along, amongst a lot of games. Hold the left flipper, it'll go all the way around, it'll bounce off your flipper, and then you have about five seconds to make any shot on the board. Every single one of them will be lit up, and if you make it, you get an even bigger super skill shot bonus. Uh, I typically tend to take that because the magic shield, the ball save, will be active for that, so it's not wasted when I'm bouncing around up there in the pop bumpers, and I get a free whack at it. You might feel differently if it's on tournament settings and you have no shield. I don't know how it's set. I'm going to do a super skill shot anyway. So two-player game. Again, holding the left flipper, hit the button, way around. And then I have a moment to like make a shot, which I may work. That did not count as a super skill shot because it wasn't blinking. All right, so if you remember, I'm already dead. Cool. You try. You can make your own decision on whether you want a skill shot or not. So I hold the left flipper. Hold the left flipper. Do I have to hit it again? Hey, just trying to make a shot. That saved it. That's what I meant about like sort of taking advantage of the oh, ball save. Oh, I see. And now it goes into pops anywhere. Now you didn't get a skill shot bonus, which is it's a very easy skill shot if you don't elect to do that. Cool. What's happening? It's a, that's a random bonus. Okay. Or a semi-random bonus. So all the techniques from last week will apply as far as controlling the ball. Okay. Um, and they're paramount in this game because once again, it's coming right at my flipper. So it motivates me to swing away initially. So did that count? Not as a skill shot, oddly. All the, um, the red blinking arrows count as the skill shot. But So that was a dead flip, crosses the middle, catches it. Um, it's much more apparent why you want to control the ball in this way in this thing, where I will just swing and have terrible aim. Tell you what, I won't catch it at all. Things are happening. Now I can get a combo going. Oh. I can't even think about not controlling the ball anymore. Playing with full chaos. It's actually working kind of well, shockingly. Oh, that's what's inevitably going to happen if I don't like control the ball, is that when it comes down, the angle is such that it'll hit in between one of this or this or, yeah. this or this or this or this or this. It'll come right back at my flippers and there won't be anything I can do about it. Um, that's why we try to control the ball. If the ball 
Sorry. No skill shot again. I stole your skill shot. So if the ball is in control and rolling down, if you take a shot, it pretty much makes it. I, I wasn't really aiming there. I just took a shot. Yeah. Um, at this angle, that's good. This angle, that's good. That angle, it's good. Basically, every timing of it's rolling down your flipper is pretty much going to hit something. Yeah. Like, it doesn't even matter. It just... I, I, I'm, I'm trying to miss at this point. I, I can't. That hit, that hit something. Try it again. Uh, there, that hit something. Like, yeah. literally, if it's rolling down your flipper, you're good to go. Everything hits something. Yeah. That's what you're trying to recreate. You catch it like this, you let go, it rolls on your flipper, and then you can either miss it and control it again like that. And at this point, like, once again, I can be nearly blind. And you can actually take a blind shot if you want, and it's probably going in. Rolling down the flipper, it's good. So if you shoot the ramp, or anything that delivers the ball down, yeah. swing away. Okay. Don't feel don't feel obligated to catch it at that okay. point. In fact, you probably can't because the momentum of the ball is coming down. Okay. But the geometry of these tables is such that you want to swing at it when it's rolling on your flipper. That's why you're catching it. You don't even need to hold it for a long time. Sometimes it's advantageous in a multi-ball, but I would feel like that's advanced technique as far as pinball goes. You caught it. Ah. Oh, nice. Flip, nice. Oh, and so in that case, I would still want to push up, correct? Uh, yes, if it hits here, push up, and you give it a little extra momentum, that'll make it bounce here and out. Okay. You don't want it bouncing in that area at all. Okay. I know we switched balls. I don't think we care too much about who's playing what game. There. Always fun and easy if you take the glass off. <laughs> I've had a good soft catch today. Still haven't had one. I don't know if you can backhand. Nope. At least I can't. Bah. Let's just play one, since we keep swapping back and forth, let's okay. just do a one player game. Got it. Go for it. Good instinct. <laughs> and that's that's how you can get... You're still in a bit of control. You can always swing just like you did and then catch it again with the same techniques that you're, you're learning right now. Great job, swing away. Remember, if it feeds it right to then the just, ramp, then, then just swing. swing. Like this. You're gonna take a free shot at it. Go! Almost. Now you catch it again. Now it's rolling, so swing away. Okay, it takes a, a bit to get used to, like, actually yeah. thinking about what is the ball going to do. There we go. I am not quite controlling it. Much longer balls than me. By the way, that was the easy skill shot. So easy you didn't even know you were doing it. This one's still on tournament mode as well. 
or some variant of it. Oh. Ah! I forgot. It's okay. Um, one of the things that I'm lucky that I work at Free Play and I get to come to Free Play, like just learning pinball at Free Play has allowed me to do is play without worry of losing my credit. Like, like we're doing now. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter what the right. score is. It doesn't matter. We're just working on the technique. So uh, one thing I've learned to do to teach myself dead flipping, soft catching, all the things I need to do is literally just play the game with one hand. So here I go. Skill shot. I got my left hand in my pocket. I'm not really going to try. One hand, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and play through. Uh, by the way, losing the ball, I'm playing with one hand, who cares? Just do the best you can. Uh, you get very used to what dead flipping looks like when you're just playing with one hand. And again, shout outs to Bo Bowen Kearns, who even taught me this technique of playing with one hand. He has some excellent videos out there teaching you how to play pinball. And uh, yeah, this really, this technique of just playing with one hand, like it, it helps so much. Yeah. And I really wish I could give you one good ball, one good ball to show off. <laughs> Rolling down. So yeah, I'll, I'll do it when I don't have time, when I'm in between fighting game matches or whatever, I'll just go play with one hand. Um, it helps so much. I can't even, I can't even tell you. Skill shot you didn't know you made. Your slings where nudging up can help. Oh, okay. Uh, when I'm playing in tournament, I'm literally just thinking about do I have control of the ball or not. When I have control, I take a shot. I might even take a breath. And then it's all. Rinse and repeat, because I have, as you can see by this little playthrough, I have terrible aim. And it's okay, like I'm still winning tournaments with terrible aim, but just control the ball, and I'm not right. at all. It's great. All right, there we go. I have control. I don't feel so nervous. Yay, I made a shot. It's rolling down. That counts as control, so I swing away. There's your soft catch. I actually can do it. Where are you going? Bounce. Ta-da. Deep breath, I have control. The most dangerous shot on every table is the center shot. The castle. That is universal. The most dangerous is the center. That's why there's a toy. That's why there's a castle there. That's why the most points are there. They want you to aim at the center because that's where you lose your ball most frequently. Part of my love for this table, Medieval Madness, comes from the, the design element where it changes the amount of risk involved with the center shot. Before you start, the bridge is up, and it can fall in that little trough, which is not such a dangerous shot. Uh, once it comes down, 
you're aiming at the gate, the gate oh, is down. and then it kicks it back. Yeah, and that's why, that's where I lost my ball. Uh, can you avoid losing it there? Yes. But it's going to be a lot more nudging and a lot more nuance involved. When the trolls get involved, it gets really chaotic. Why Roll. is that? Uh, the trolls, I don't know if I can activate the trolls. Actually, yes, we can. I keep forgetting that we just have like the glass off, so what does it matter, right? Yay, I'm so good. <laughs> I'm gonna hit, nope. See, I don't play this way. Ah, there we go. What do we got? Activate, four more. There we go, trolls are lit. And I made the troll shot. All right. The bridge is up, the trolls oh. are out. Now it's very dangerous. I get bonuses for hitting the middle, but look at it, it's forcing it down the middle. Lots of chaos. And I lose the ball because of it. That is very frequent. So the center shot gets progressively more dangerous as you complete this game. And ultimately, you can control it all. Um, you can get the wizard mode, you can blow up all the castles. Um, you can defeat the trolls, get the troll multiball. All of that is, is definitely within the realm of possibility. It just changes the stakes on you throughout the game. And also, I love, I love the various ramps at every angle because I have terrible aim as you have seen countless times. Like, I can control the ball, but I can't aim it worth anything. Right. I'm aiming at the blinking shots, always. That one. That one's blinking. That one's blinking. The Battle for the Kingdom over there. This one not blinking, so I don't care. If I miss, those are blinking as well. So if I control it, I take a shot, something's gonna happen. Yay, it's a blinking shot. Um, so it's much more important to control the ball then have superb aim. Uh, I nudged up again. Yeah. yeah. So the fact that I can't aim, like that doesn't, my bad aim doesn't come into, uh, into play until later in the game where it's like, make this shot blinking to have this thing happen. Right. But even then, I, I don't feel like I'm losing progress if I just hit the orbit or just hit that. Everything's active all the time in some way. It's always building towards something. This table's phenomenal. And if I would be quiet for once, it's really funny too. The uh, famously Tina Fey, when she worked with the Groundlings, did one of the damsels in this game. Really? Yes. I love her. Yeah. <laughs> so if you shoot that right ramp a lot, you will definitely hear Tina Fey's voice. What? I'm not even kidding, yeah. I don't remember which one it is, to be honest. All of them make me laugh. Whether it's the damsels, the uh, the catapult throwing chickens at walls, the uh, the different castle kings like uh, the Earl of Ego who's full of himself, <laughs> um, Lord Howard Hertz who is more of a uh, I don't know he's got kind of a New York mob style accent thing going. Why I don't know. Let's see if I can just cycle through. I'm on the. The Duke of Bourbon, who's of course drunk. <laughs> so I do a castle. Again, terrible aim. Somehow we've activated most of all though. I think that was you. So what's the difference between shooting it here and here? Uh, in this case, shooting the castle wall creates castle multi-ball, whereas shooting the gate is progress towards destroying the castle. Oh, got it. The overall objective of the game would be to blow up the castles and progress through that way. I, I do love, like, like I don't care so much that I lose the ball because it is free play. Like I don't, if I lose the ball, it's okay. I'm working on techniques. Um, for me, the joy of this is did I hit the shot I was aiming at, which probably not, um, and did I control the ball over and over again, I've shifted the objective of the game 
So the score doesn't matter to me so much. The number of players don't matter so much. It's you and me. I just kind of want to get better. When it's tournament time, it'll pay off. And by the way, it doesn't matter if it's not tournament time either. If your objective is to like beat the game, get wizard mode, uh, that's not going to happen if you're not controlling the ball. Yeah. So all of this stuff pays off fundamentally, no matter what. Safe middle shot. Nice, dead flipping and everything. I, I don't know if that was Tina Fey, I think it was. Yes, yes, Was that like her? I can't tell. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, you don't need to be big to be good at pinball. Uh, I'm a little bit taller than you. It doesn't, it doesn't really influence things. You don't need to muscle around the machine. I've definitely taught women how to play this. There's an eight-year-old who destroys everybody routinely. Uh, shout outs to Christopher Heskett for, Heskett for the second video in a row. But also, one of the most phenomenal things I've seen is uh, Shannon Stevens, who's learned to play at free play. Uh, she's a woman player, and she has one eye. What? So she manages to do this wow. without even having depth perception. And I taught her the same way I'm teaching you. Like literally just me and her uh, going over the one-handed technique and everything else. Wow. It's truly all you need, plus the practice to like make it second nature. But I figure, let me outro this and say, you've been watching Long Plays by Free Plays special on, two-part special on pinball technique. You can catch last week's video on total nuclear annihilation. If you'd like to see more, also don't forget to like and subscribe. And feel free to listen to the podcast on your headphones whenever you're playing and practicing pinball at free play. But uh, there's our outro. Let's just continue the game and they can either cut, this, cut us off now or we can see who wins this thing. Good news, bad news. You open the drawbridge. Ah. Whenever it's rolling and it kind of goes up here, you can swing away. The geometry works for you. Okay. Control is just a matter of getting it to roll down your flipper. I, that's out of control. There we go. And then that's, it's in control, it settles, and then I'm good. You, you pick my shot, we'll see if I can aim. You want the, the castle yes. wall? I'll try. Nope, bad aim. <laughs> nope, bad aim. By the way, I lost the ball there because I didn't catch it before I took the second shot at the castle wall.
Oh my goodness. So out of control. That was the Duke of Bourbon, who was drunk. <laughs> oh, so is it random, the second one? There is a way to determine who it is. I think it cycles through. Um, until, was... you, until you bring the, the drawbridge down. It does like cycle around. Oh. So right now, I think it's still in play until I bring the drawbridge down. Whoa. I could have saved that if I was on my game. See, now it's Francois de Grimm with his sarcastic French. Yeah. 